Knock, knock, who's there? Sadly for this motor, it was rod bearing number two. So here she is all broken down. If you checked out my um, last video, it was of taking the flywheel off, which was a nightmare. But today I got the rest of the engine apart. Um, didn't record any of it because, well, it was pretty unprofessional, but I got it done. And um, I didn't damage anything on the case has, but um, I mean, I don't know. It worked the way I did it. I followed some other videos I saw on YouTube, which are pretty helpful. But um, here are the halves. So uh, to my very unprofessional, untrained eye, it looks like um, the journals for the mains are pretty good shape. Of course, I will have someone check this if I do decide to uh, rebuild this motor. Well, you know, I'll have the machine shop guy check it out and or someone else who I know who um, has done this before. But anyway, here are the bearings themselves and they actually look pretty bad. And like I said, I'm no pro at this, but I mean, that does not look good. But we knew that this motor threw a rod bearing, so um, here it is. Definitely a problem. Definitely caused some mean noise, which is what I heard when I tried to start the engine up. Um, the other ones seem fine. You know, just doing the same little test, which very obvious here. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, I checked out the pistons briefly. I didn't, I'll probably clean them up and then take a better look to see if there are any cracked ring lands, but it seems like they're okay. Kind of hard to see though with all the carbon deposits on them. But I'm gonna pull this apart, we can check it out. It's always fun to check out some carnage and this is the engine out of a car I bought and then I replaced the motor and sold it, um, so. It's interesting that I'll finally be able to see what was actually wrong with it. Well, don't try that. Obviously it didn't work too well. The hammer. Right, round two. Maybe the phone will stay up. Pretty. And there's no bearing left. Kind of as expected, given how much play there was. But let me show you the crank here. Okay, there it is, all chewed up. Wow. Oh, there is part of the bearing, I think. Oh, no, yeah, there's some bearing left, don't worry. Had some life left. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. And the rod itself. So that is why you remove the banjo bolt filters. The guy I bought the car from said that the um, owner just ran dry in oil, so that'll obviously do it too. But um, I'm assuming that the filter is still in there and this car had not high miles, but it was like 120,000. The filters were clogged and definitely could have caused some starvation as well, which would make it a lot worse. So my friends, if you ever had a car that developed a rod knock and you were curious, you know, what actually happened, what it looks like, now you've seen it. And um, specifically, if you had a Subaru that developed it, it's actually, pretty common because if you know you run it low on oil or if um for the turbo subarus if you if your banjo bolts in the motor don't have or do have the filters still in they can get clogged 
and starve the crank for, or the rods for um, oil. And then it's just one thing after another, you wear it right down and it gets pretty nasty. But uh, it's a good reminder then to always make sure your car is topped off with oil and change your oil is also very important. If you have WRX, a, um, an XT um, Outback or a Forester, it's really important to check to make sure that your banjo bolts for the oil feed lines are um, all clear. So now you know, you've seen it a little bit, it's pretty cool. I mean, I just took it apart for fun, basically. Um, so on another note, I know I haven't been doing any kind of off-road stuff lately, but I'll definitely be getting back into that. Don't worry. Uh, the Jeep needs some parts, needs steering, it needs, um, I need to get some spare drive shafts because they're going to snap for sure at one point. Um, I actually want to lower it a little bit because I almost rolled it and that reminds me, I need, to, I need a roll cage too, but you know, one thing at a time, I'll figure it out. But um, I'll be making a little more money now, so I'll be able to actually start slowly rebuilding it and stuff. So I'm trying to be financially responsible too. Don't forget that, it's important. Cars are fun, but they're gonna break and cost more money and you know how it goes. So anyway, thanks everyone for watching. You can subscribe to follow, see some more videos I got coming. Um, like I said, I promise to have some more off-road stuff soon. Uh, I actually have some fab jobs I'll be doing, so I'll take some videos of those. And hit me up if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything. Uh, hit me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. All right, guys, thanks again.